Hi, remember me? I am Kaya Genius, and I'm back with a new topic concerning the development of effective AAV-based gene therapies. You must be wondering why we need modern DPCR technology to gauge viral titers when you have established technologies such as qPCR. Well, let me answer why. Question 1. What are the strengths of DPCR when performing AAV quantification? Digital PCR provides unmatched accuracy and precision needed to detect AAV viral titers in comparison to qPCR. Unlike qPCR, dPCR provides an absolute count of nucleic acids without relying on a standard curve. It is also less sensitive to contaminants that affect amplification, leading to the accurate estimation of viral titers, critical to the safety and effectiveness of gene therapy. Let's have a look at the next question. Question 2. Does the Kayakuity DPCR portfolio offer assays for AAV quantification? Yes, of course. You can access 10 different assays for AAV quantification with multiplexing capabilities validated for use with the Kayakuity digital PCR system. Since you can target different parts of your particle, you can obtain more information from one sample. Oh, and I figured you had one more question. Question 3. What kind of throughput can one expect? The Kayakuity DPCR platforms offer high scalability and you can process up to 3,264 samples per 24-hour shift with the Kayakuity 8 instrument. It offers a qPCR-like workflow with full walkaway automation. I hope you found that useful. Take a look at this application node developed with the team at Resilience Inc. They have successfully optimized an in-process RAAV vector genome titer protocol using Kayakuity DPCR, increasing their turnaround time and overall throughput compared to other methods. I will be back soon with another interesting topic, so stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Kyogen. Sample to Insight.